Yeah, I, I got to start like that because this doesn't work otherwise. Canary Islands, three minutes ago, 5.1. Strongest so far quake at magnitude 5.1. Yeah, I was about to make a video about something else, but let's check it out. One hour ago. Now it's a 4.9 anymore. They ground downgraded it. So there is something going on still in La Palma. And obviously it got, it got felt all over the place. There, I don't know what that means. Things were shaking in the shells or something, I don't know. So they are on the other side of the eruption site. There is this kind of ridge. The eruptions are here now still but the bigger quakes are on the other side but let's hop over to windy because i was to make a video about windy not about windy itself of course but six hours ago 33 in depth Six hours ago, 15 kilometers in depth. Yeah, why shouldn't be those undersea mountains? Why shouldn't they be volcanoes too? Yeah, but let's hop over to Windy. Check this out. I don't know what that is. Some radar anomaly, Doppler radar anomaly. Alta Garcia. Whatever it is, it is beautiful. It has Rastafari colors on it. And it is appearing really quickly and disappearing as quickly as it came. Whatever it might be. I don't know. I think I made already once a video about a similar thing. At, uh, it was probably the similar position, same place. But these here. I have been talking about lightning strikes in the oceans or over the seas. Now Winnie doesn't like me anymore. Now it works. Yeah, I try to figure out what is there anything underneath visible and I just happened to notice another thing 
There is flickering up no data in those areas for a brief moment. At least it did before. No, it doesn't anymore. So it was just loading, probably. Nothing to see here. But let's check them out. These, and probably also these. Uh, we might go over to Google Earth to check it. So, welcome aboard. Captain wishes you a nice trip. Be aware of solar radiation while you are flying with an airplane. So, we are... These are... This is La Palma, Canary Islands. And now it looks a bit better. So now let's see if we can figure out where they are. We have Mauritania on the right. And it's actually this borderline what we could somehow use. There's on top and below of that something. So I guess that's the line. Let's go straight. Let's put it north first. Somehow straight and on top and below. Somewhat distance might be a bit offset. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if these, how you ever call them, would be volcanoes. Yeah, they look like, I would say, like volcanoes. So, question is, how much are those Where's the borderline again? Here. It's really faint. Is there any possibility that those lightning strikes over the sea indicate some increasing activity below the sea surface? There has to be something, otherwise there wouldn't be lightning strikes. Because lightning, it comes from above and it comes from below. And when they meet, it gets bright. So, why shouldn't it be so that all that would be just submerged? And the energy is coming from something under the sea floor, and this yellow is representing magma. If there's stuff going on here, the electric currents they will go up there, and since we have salt water, which is a really good conductor. I think it's interesting, something to keep in mind and take a and keep an eye on it. And we have the Mediterranean 
getting amped up again. Here's a hot spot. Ponta. Naples, Salerno, Caserta, Ponza. Is there anything under the sea? Naples, Ponza. Let's go back to Windy to get somehow probably a bigger picture of where we are. It's south of Rome. Okay. So oh, that's not a straight line. Nah. No. South of Rome. Is it that one? Not Naples. There's this island and it's almost a straight line from that island. Damn, it's really hard to draw a straight line, you know. So it's somewhere here, I guess. Yeah, let's see if we find some funny map about the Tyrrhenian Sea. <laughs> Sorry. No. Oxford Academic Geophysical Journal International. Geomagnetism and Age Study of Tyrrhenian Sea Mounts. 95. The geomagnetic study of seamounts is based on joint 3D analysis of the magnetic field anomalies and the bathymetry and measurements of the magnetic properties of rock space seamounts and geochronical data. Okay. References. Where is the article? I need PDF. Do we get anything? Download. I want to see pictures. General setting and more for logic. Ah, oh, now we get a picture. All right. So, no cities are marked. So, uh, but I guess. Rome is somewhere here. Now we have the problem that there is like twice this kind of island thing there. Uh, Rome is more north. Okay, more to the left, and it's the upper one of those. One island, a second. But I guess it's this one. Let's make it sure. Yeah, it's the upper one. Okay. Wrong. Where is it? <laughs> So, Rome is somewhere here, and this is this, straight line, straight line, Flavio Gioa S. Okay, 651, whatever that means. Marsili, Magnatis Nut, Vavilov. Uh, 
magnetic anomaly field do they have any magnetic is that a magnetic anomaly map map of the magnetic anomaly field of the south Iranian sea in tens of nanotests based on the merging of shipborne service of local and regional type positive isodynamos and negative isodynamos zero isodynamos ODP sites drilled in the oceanic crust. So obviously, I interpret this picture like that. We have lines really close together. So there is uh, quite a big geomagnetic differential between those regions. But which could indicate that there is really something going on down there, but we don't, uh, we didn't cut that far. That. <laughs> Images. Science direct, yeah. This is kind of live video. 2016 geophysical mapping of Vercelli Sea Mount implications for Miocene evolution of the Tyrrhenian back. Arc Basin. <sighs> Two opposite water mass guys trigger an asymmetric erosion of the sea mount. Really? Like underwater movement of the water is eroding those. The top of semen shows low stand erosive effects coupled to subsidence movement. Okay, it's moving down below. What's that? No. Where is it? View PDF. Eleven figures. Sounds nice. Yeah, my internet connection is really slow. Geoscience and Frontiers. Abstract. Yeah, but that's not... You can't really watch those pictures. Actually, even though it's so small, it sucks. Yeah. But... Islands? Islands. We take those and make a line. And somewhere here is Rome. So that's somehow the deepest point, obviously. MA. This is a magnetic map. Yeah, I guess we this region here.
yeah, this is how I spent quite much of my time doing these kind of things. Hmm. So Rome is somewhere here. And there's volcanoes all over the place, on land. And quite likely also on the water. Yeah, the, here is somewhere. This must be the action place. But I still don't know what kind of map we are looking at. Maybe I should read. <laughs> Shady relief, bath imagery map of the... Uh, showing the major features discussed in the text. We had 651, there's 650. O, D, P, E, V. Eastwood Bridge, E, V. Where's the O, V, D? Nowhere. Where is the region? It's here. So it's not even close to what we are searching to for. Research gates. Basaltic crust. Ah. Who is it? Yeah, uh, filmmakers heaven. Yeah, I, I guess my videos are the worst made videos on YouTube. <laughs> but anyway, an updated reconstruction of basaltic crust emplacement in theory and in sea Italy. Four years old. Hyper extension. Yeah, some may say that you don't even read the whole article and blah blah blah. Yeah, I usually don't. I start with the pictures first. The picture tells more than a thousand words. Get on with it. Scientific reports and updated on this we already had. This is nice to read picture. Whoa. Italy mainland. Balmarola. Depth. Kilometers. 4,000 meters deep. Really? Whoa. That's deep. Balmarola. I knew that it's deep, but I didn't knew that it's that deep. So this would indicate that the Earth's mantle is much thinner there. Which makes it also much more vulnerable to whatever seismic activity we have there. Do we have? There's another map. I love pictures. DF. Islands. Rome. About here. Here. Somewhere here.
which is obviously at the end of this DF thing. What is it? No. The Alps Tyrrhenian Apennine system shares a relief image of central Mediterranean region. I will show the east and west directed subductions that are present beneath the Alps and Apennines, respectively. T. Respectively? Past E directed east. Descent of a European plate of the East of Corsican Sardinia originated the double versions of the Iranian submerged origin of Alpine age, which is 12,000 years. They might have a different opinion about that. TF. East dipping detachment fault separating front and back thrust zones of central Tyrrhenian inherited origin. Okay. Like, why well, we didn't figure that up by ourselves, I don't know, but it was obvious. Let's read it again. East dipping detachment fault separating front and back thrust zones of central Tyrrhenian inherited origin. <laughs> okay, so they just tried to tell us that this is a place of action. And since we are 4,000 meters deep, beneath the sea level, there is 4,000 meters of Earth's crust missing, the most upper layer of Earth. In the actual zone of Vavilov Basin, inherited Alpine origin, the north-south elongated tectonomagmatic liniment, 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 linking Vavilov volcano, volcano to exposed perodotite in associated with lineated magmatic anomalies. The northern portion shows positive anomaly with intensity intensity up to seven nanoteslas airborne survey. Intensity of two hundred nanoteslas was obtained from shipborne data from the same area. The southern portion of the alignment is characterized by altering negative and positive values of magnetic field. Say small stratigraphic evidence suggests that this tectonic liniment is due to detachment faulting. Really? And at the same time, it reverses its polarization. <laughs> Probably not. Such basement complexity. We missed a sentence somewhere. ODP size 600. Hey, that's the 651 I was talking about earlier. Uh, drilled through the faulted basement swell, which consists of periodites, dolerites, and basalts. Such basement complexity is overlain by thin late Pliocene OUs. Globorotialia in Flata so 2.6 to 1.9 billion years or something. Or not. Or maybe just 12,000. Which is below 340 meters thick places in sedimentary sequence. Below. Positive magnetization and forum assemblage of ooze directly overlaying basement indicate that east dipping detachment linked to mantle exposure 
occurred in the late most Pliocene. Olduvai Zupkron. Uh, I had to clean my throat. The classical scales of geological time contemplate that the uh, old Dubai corresponds to the tertiary quaternary boundary which separates the place here from the places in portion of Matuyu, Matuama Kron. Based on seismostratigraphy evidence, the periodic body was exposed through slip on east dipping detachment fault acting in LMP time. LMP? Probably coinciding low angle extensional fault thing acted at Vavilov Seamount 2 without accompanying volcanic activity. Well, without accompanying volcanic activity. Volcanic activity, let's draw me a picture, if it really lets me. I'm really bad at drawing pictures. That's a volcano. Volcano. It's coming from below. Okay. Usually. Volcanoes are in the ground and they penetrate upwards. And all this stuff happened, what they are talking about here, without any volcano, volcano doing anything. And all those geological actions, what happened there, they don't happen if the rock isn't soft. Or soft enough to make it form like that. So from somewhere the rock must have been get some energy in order to get in this kind of liquid form. And I suggest it might have come from above in form of Lightning strikes or just a really strong static electromagnetic field which induces so much energy that you don't have a you don't need to have an arc a lightning bolt in order to achieve this kind of energy induced into material. That's an interesting map. Let's read first what we are looking. RTP anomaly, a magnetic map. Magnetic anomalies of the Tyranian region color shaded relief map of the reduced to the palm aeromagnetic anomaly field of Italy. The image was obtained with software plot map from gridded data of magnetic data projected of the common flight altitude of 2,500 meters and referred to geomagnetic of 1,979. 1979 in set depicts bathymetry data and north-south trending magnetic ligaments linked to the Vavilov Marsili volcano surroundings. The anomalies associated with the deep-seated basaltic crust have low intensity. Did you notice that we are talking all the time about anomalies? Like everything what they find is an anomaly? <laughs> Just a side note. And shapes which are almost rounded or poorly elongated, diffusional spreading link to strong extensions of low angle faults. By contrast of the magnetic patterns linked to the high standing volcanoes exhibit high intensity up to 1500 nanoteslas. That's why we got the lightning strikes at volcanoes. Exhibit high intensity. Does anyone believe me now? I I don't care if you believe, but I just think the evidence is so obvious. 
Better organized configuration, quasi-linear spreading associated to moderate extensions and high angle folds. So, mm, where are we searching for what we are looking at? Or Rome is somewhere here. I missed. It's really hard to draw a straight line. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe a little bit to the right, but let's keep that in mind. No, I'm totally offset. Let's start again. Rome is here. Somewhere. And these are the upper islands. I can't zoom in. Yeah, but anyway. There is something going on. Six hundred fifty one. Ponza. That's the iron. Windy. Yeah, that's a really long video. Weather radar. Italy. Is that the... Yes, Ponza. Ponza is here. These are the upper islands. And it's on the left. Okay. I don't know. Is that Ponza? Or is Ponza here? Oh man, I guess it's here, and these are the islands. I don't know, this doesn't somehow convince me that I'm on the right track. That's a little bit, that's a little bit hard. Uh, maybe I'll leave it here. Because this could still take a while. <laughs> yeah, but where was it? The volcano thing. Here. This is something. Really important to keep in mind. That's why lightning strikes also overseas into volcanoes, because they have high intensity of electromagnetic they have a big aura, you know. Therefore, they make easily a connection to the universe. Thanks. <laughs>